Happy October! It's Jen from Polk County Public Libraries and today I'm going to show you how to make a clothespin monster which is our October take and make kit for kids. So stop by Columbus or Saluda Library to pick up your free kit and be sure to join us for some of our awesome programs this month. There will be slides at the end of this video with all of the details. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I have opened up my kit and this is what is inside in your kit. You're going to have some yarn. You're going to have a pipe cleaner, a clothespin, two pony beads, and either one or two googly eyes, depending on how big they are. And then from home, you're going to want to grab some glue, some scissors, and then optional, um, if you have a marker or crayon or paint and you want to change the color of your clothespin, you'll want to grab that. And then if you want to get something to make a mouth or teeth on your monster, um, I have a little bit of white paper I'm going to use to make teeth. Um, you could use a marker or pen to make a mouth, so that is up to you and how you want your monster to look. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to make my monster's body orange. So I'm going to color my clothespin orange. I'm going to have him match <clears throat> the orange pipe cleaner that's in my kit. That is going to be the color of his arms. And your monster might end up being nice and colorful. So you can see mine is going to be three different colors. It's going to be an orange monster with orange arms. And he's going to have purple hands and green hair. And he actually has a yellow eye, so that's four colors. All right. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to make my monster's arms and hands. So I'm going to put the pony bead on the end of one side of my pipe cleaner and then kind of bend it over so it stays on and doesn't fall off. <clears throat> you know what? Depending on how long you want your monster's arms to be, you're probably going to want to cut if you want them to have shorter arms. You can cut it in half or even smaller. If you want him to have really long arms, that's up to you. It's your monster. Um, you, if you cut it, you can end up giving him, your monster four arms or six arms or five arms. <clears throat> Any amount of arms you want to give. So I'm going to make my monster have two arms. You know what? I'm going to make my monster have four arms. So I only have two beads, so I'm just going to bend those ends on the other half of my pipe cleaner over. <clears throat> and then I'm going to give him four arms, and you can bend them however you want. They don't really have to be symmetrical. This is a monster. You can look however you want. Crazy. All right, now I'm going to make my hair. So you have a um, um, ball of yarn in there, and you could make a pom-pom just like that, but I'm going to remake my pom-pom. So it is tied with a piece of yarn, and I'm going to untie, if I can, that piece of yarn. And then I'm going to re-wrap it just to make a really pretty pom-pom. <clears throat> So this is quite a bit of yarn here. He's going to have some nice green hair. So I'm going to take uh, just three fingers and start wrapping. All the way until I use all of my yarn. Make some cool yarn hair for my monster. Still going. Still going. Hope you're not getting dizzy watching this. All right, a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna slide that off my fingers. <clears throat> I go back and get that piece of yarn, tie it around, pull it tight, and then I'm going to just kind of cut the ends to make my pom-pom. We did a teen craft a few months ago where we made yarn cacti. 
<clears throat> out of pom poms. All right, don't know what happened to those. So you can kind of go in and just cut the ends where the yarn is folded over. And of course, as I always say and have said in this video, this is your creation. So you can do the yarn however you want to make your monster's hair or anything else you want to put on your monster. This example is just what I'm doing. So this is a pretty creative craft that you can really do whatever you want. <clears throat> All right. The monster's hair needs to be crazy. Oh no. I think I cut the string that was holding my pom-pom together. That happens sometimes. <clears throat> Try not to do that if you're trying to <clears throat> make a pom-pom. Alright, so I'm going to put my monster's hair in the part where the clothespin opens. And you can cut it. And if you did not cut your pom-pom, like I did, then you'll have a nice nice little circle of hair there. Alright. <clears throat> I'll try to do an example at the end of the video with a pom-pom that I don't mess up so you can see what it should look like. Alright, I'm going to add my eye. So that's where you're going to get out that glue from home. If you don't have glue, you could use a pen or a marker. And I'm going to get out my white paper and I'm going to make some monster teeth. Tiny little monster teeth on these tiny little pieces of paper. Sorry, I just realized I'm not doing this on the camera. There's one mon oh. Oop. one monster tooth. Two monster teeth. It's a monster. They don't have to be the same. You can have a long skinny tooth and a short fat tooth. So tiny, I can barely get them on there. <clears throat> so then you'll put your teeth below his eyes. Put some glue there. Alright, look at that cool looking monster. I love it. Have fun. Okay, I'm going to do one more attempt to make a pom-pom just to show you guys what it might look like if that's what you decide to do for your monster's hair. So as I already went over in the video, wrap that green yarn around your hand till you run out. Then slide it off your hand. Retie it with the extra piece of yarn that was originally tied around it. All right, and I'm going to try to cut the yarn to make a pom pom without cutting that middle string, which I think is how I messed up last time. But there's really no telling. But it's okay. That's why we have these fun crafts every month, they're always an experiment. It might not be perfect, but we usually end up with something pretty, pretty awesome. Alright, there we go. There's my pom-pom. Alright, so let's see what my monster looks like. If I'm going to take out all of his crazy hair. Uh-oh, looks like one piece got glued in, but that's alright. And if we do pom-pom hair... Then we don't have to worry about any of it falling out. It's all secure. What a cool monster. All right. Happy October.